vlog welcome back to the channel we are heading off to our next destination we left miami this morning um and we have actually stopped in the everglades first um before we get to our final destination that we're staying tonight now for a little bit of context we were meant to be going to the everglades and then going up to tampa but unfortunately due to the hurricane that went through last week we changed our plans um just because we didn't feel that tampa would have been a very nice place to go and like i just didn't want to be in people's way when they were like getting their lives back together the last thing they need is tourists there like in their yeah. space you know um so instead we should we just say where we're going yeah we are going to orlando, orlando. Orlando, a city in central Florida, is home to more than a dozen theme parks. Chief among its claims to fame is Walt Disney World, comprised of parks like Magic Kingdom and Epcot, as well as water parks. Another major destination, Universal Orlando, offers Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, with the wizarding world of Harry Potter straddling both. Um, so yeah, we have to head out. It's a bit of a further drive. It's about an hour more, um, but that's not a problem. We drove from Orlando, um, on Monday evening to Miami. So now we just need to drive back. Um, but we're going off now to go into the Everglades and go on an alligator air, thing. air boat ride thing. Yeah, should be cool. Excited. So let's go. Society one of the most colorful birds in a forest. Yeah, so the alligators do live amongst us. They live in our backyards, our lakes. If you live in Florida and you have a lake in your backyard, this is likely in your neighborhood. Let's go take a look. Come on. You know, I'm lazy today.
to our hotel and carried all these bags down all these hallways <laughs> with the furthest room. <laughs> it's time for a room tour. We walk in here, got some wardrobes, a bathroom. Here it is. Very nice, very nice. And then in here, you've got the beds. And then you come through here. And a lovely view of the car park. But that's it, that's our hotel. Our car's over there. a bad thing. This was not planned, okay? But this was spontaneous.
popular rides and we were it was delayed opening and we got here literally the first people in the queue as it opened that luck and we had good luck <laughs> if i throw up if i throw up it's your fault because you wanted to go on this <laughs>
that's it, Nolan. Here, you rascal, you. Let's put on the show. Mon ami, I am always ready, as you say, to put on the show. <whistles>
up our new car. Here it is. It's a Jeep. It's very beautiful. And we're just talking about how little mileage it has on it. That is not going to last a very long time. <laughs> we are about to leave Orlando. A lot later than uh, planned. We were meant to leave at like half two. Like we were meant to get out of here at like half two. It is quarter to five. Quarter to five. Uh, we had a little problem with the car rental situation. Um, they are not very helpful. Um, so we're kind of going to have to play that by ear. Um, and the mess that is our car like let's not talk about it because it was just stressful having to move everything over so that's our plan when we get to our next destination is to sort out our lives a little bit our car and everything um and then after that basically the camera on my phone stopped working so i had to buy a new phone um because they like basically they can send it off and try and fix it in my warranty but we're here for 65 more days or something like that and so i'd have to wait until i'm home for them to fix it and then you don't know how long that's going to take so i've had to get a new phone um then the people there were the most unhelpful people you've ever met like the guy helped us talk about which phone i should get and then he said okay just go to the checkout and they'll get it for you so we went to the checkout and um they he was like you need to get the phone and we were like okay well they said you could get it and he was like no and then we were like but we've literally just been i said this to him i was like we've just been sent here and then he was like oh go back over there and try and get it <laughs> so we got back and we asked some like the security guard guy to call someone over us to come and help us and we stood there for what like must have been 10 minutes must have been 10 minutes and then he was like has no one come and helped you yet and we were like nope and he was like oh okay i'll get someone get someone to come down and then we needed to just stop off at a store because they disney disneyland ran out of magnets like how i don't know but we ran and got one um and two birds one stone it's disney and orlando we're heading off now to our next destination and alex is driving for the first time in the US. How are you finding it, Alex? It's okay. Yeah. It can be stressful, especially like when you don't fully know all the rules of the road. Like they're basically the same as home, but there are a couple things that are different. So it's a little bit stressful, but I'm sure we'll get used to it. Um, and we're leaving the city now, so it should be easy. We're, yeah, we're literally joining the highway right now. So it'll be easy final goodbye to orlando it's so cute it was such a cute little stay um bye bye so if you want to know where we head next you're gonna have to check out our channel and see where we're going and we'll see you guys in the next video bye